Mani Mahama has cast doubts over the integrity of the elections which ousted him from power, claiming the polls were rigged. It's the most strident remark he has made about the 7 December 2016 polls in recent times, suggesting that he is still smarting from the anguish of losing power in an election he believed he, could he was going to win hands down, FBI. come what may. The elections he lost registered him in the annals, uh, blah, 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 into those parts in here. Or oh, see, he presented his impression about the 2016 polls last week at the Oxford University, the Said Business School Distinguished Speaker Seminar, organized in collaboration with the African Studies Center and the Oxford Africa Business Alliance. The presentation was shortly after making the headlines for describing as useless, okay, blah, 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 uh, okay. In the Okawa Hase, Mr. Mahama narrated that the rigging process was facilitated through quote, the use of IT in result transmission and possibility of hacking, unquote. And he noted that this novelty in elections in Africa present complications which raise fears about the manipulation of election results. And uh, okay, and uh, the quote attributed to him, you know, a uh, uh, quite instructive. Or say, during the last presidential election in Ghana, the Electoral Commission directed its staff to stop using the electronic result transmission system to see, communicate say, results FBI. to the tallying center because the system had been compromised. And or say. As I speak, I am not aware that the Electoral Commission has carried out any investigation into what compromised their IT system. And he is probably, uh, I'll say, Ghanaians in the interest of transparency want to know what really happened during the last polls before the next elections in 2020.